Today, more than 50 tall ships will sail into the Boston Harbor, a celebration of the city's rich maritime history. And two million spectators bound for the Boston waterfront this weekend. WB's on, uh, WBZ's Anna Myler first in line for us, joining us live on Fan Pier this morning. And Anna, we're already seeing the wheels in motion out there. Yeah, Nick Sale Boston is underway, and I'm here with Jan Miles. He's the captain of the Pride of Baltimore, too. They are getting ready right now to sail to Nihant to get ready for the parade of sail. Uh, what is it like being part of an event like this? We've been a part of many and several here from Boston, and it's a great gathering of like-minded people supported by a great gathering of very curious people. And this is one of the ships that will be docked here for five days that people can come on board and, and explore. What will they learn about this ship in particular? This is an American history story. It comes out of the Chesapeake Bay. It comes uh, from a story of the 1812 war. Uh, and the national anthem. These vessels were built in Baltimore, used as privateers, attracted the anger of the English. They came to uh, raid the shipyards. There was the great defense of Baltimore, and Francis Scott Key watched it, realized the British had failed in their endeavor, and was moved to write the poetry. So Pride of Baltimore too is a Baltimore clipper, and uh, is a, about the national anthem. Are there any concerns about the weather this morning? No, I think from a uh, uh, pedestrian perspective and crew who would rather not be wet, there might be some concern there. Visibility, there's that, but I think it'll lift. All right, thank you so much, Jan Miles, for joining us. Good luck today, and we look forward to seeing you come back through the harbor. We'll send it back to you for now, Nick and Anna Ritas. All right.